Jalgaba local municipality is located in the southern part of Latvia, in the heart of Zemgale. Jalgaba local municipality consists of 13 parishes with more than 26,000 inhabitants, making it one of the biggest municipalities in Latvia. Manors and palaces hold legends filled with ancient tales and secrets, giving an atmosphere of nobility and profoundness. One of Jalgava local municipality's most striking pages of history is the time of the Kurzem Zemgale, also known as Korlan Semigalia Duchy. The families of the Korlan dukes and German barons living in Jalgava's surrounding areas have left memorable manor houses in Blankenfelde, Zajanieki, Eleja, Virtsava, Leoplatona, Vilce and Stalgene as a heritage to us. The Eleja Manor Park is significant to the Jalgava local municipality with its historical value and future plans. In recent years, the secular trees were identified and marked the richness of the park's landscape appreciated, and it was like we experienced the tale of Countess Dagmar with the legend of romantic love uniting the past, present and future. In the Christmas Battles Memorial on Lojmate Counts and in the branch of the Latvian War Museum, there are unique testimonies about the fortifications of World War I and the battles that took place in the area. These days, Lojmate Counts has become a memorial to the heroism of the Latvian riflemen. The larger and smaller rivers, Lielupe, Sasava, Virtsava, Platona, Svetta, and others, like blood vessels, permeate the municipality's plains. In springtime, the plains are covered by flocks of geese, crane and swans. The quiet breath of the forests make it possible to hear the silent speak. In the summer, you'll find an escape in the sea of blooming rape and poppy fields. There are nine Natura 2000 protected nature territories of European significance in Jalgava local municipality, including the Vilces Dubbis parks where nature trails have been built. There are several churches worth visiting. Affiliate of Riga St. Trinity, Sergius Female Monastery in Valgunde, built in 1897, the Livbirza Catholic Church, which is the only wooden church in the municipality, the Zajaniak Lutheran Church with the biggest bell in the municipality, as well as the Sasava and Lielbirtsava churches. Gedertselius is one of the most notable Latvian painters, a master of realism. His paintings of rural life are a treasure of Latvian painting. His native home, now the museum Zilene, holds testimonies of his vivid personality and his family. Each gaze in the distance as if reaches the edge of the earth. In summer, ears of heavy grain bow their heads. The air is filled with an earthy scent and the joy of the farmer's harvest and labor. There is a reason it is called the granary of Latvia. Agriculture is one of the most significant businesses in Jalgava local municipality. Svetas Maisa is a family enterprise making organic bread and confectionery goods. Baker Janis Davids points out, Bread has a great and meaningful role in people's lives already for hundreds of years. Bread is a nurtured and holy word. That word holds centuries worth of knowledge, hard work, thoughts, hopes, 
values passed on from generation to generation. Farmers, grinders, bakers are all involved in the making of bread. Our main reason for doing this job is to draw people's attention to bread. Pick up the bread, inhale its scent, cut off a slice, smell it again. What a great aroma, you can't help but salivate. Feel the bread, think about it. Do think about what you eat. A good host will always have bread for himself and to share with his family, children, wife, parents and others. Here you may see soulfully baked bread and every visitor may try his hand in the ceramics workshop and learn how to do pottery. I have managed the Sveta ceramics workshop for three years now. My success story is that when I was invited to manage this workshop, they gave me a turner's bench and an oven and now I have to invite those who want to participate. Many of the parish's children from neighboring houses run over after school and we work together until late. We are located in Jalgava local municipality, where we extract peat. The peat producing company, La Flora, has existed since 1995, and over time we have become one of the biggest businesses in the municipality. We employ about 250 to 270 people a year, and our revenue reaches 7 to 8 million lots per year. We're at the day center Zemgale, located in Zemgale village of Gluda Parish. I enjoy saying that we're Zemgale within Zemgale. In my opinion, people really need these day centers. It's a place to come because not everyone can travel far for events. It's a place where people can meet and exchange good ideas. We have a comfortable children's corner, so children can have their first interaction with society, especially those that are not attending kindergarten. We're currently at the leisure complex Via Sulici, Café Zemniak Cienasts and the Children's Activity Park Ganibas. It is located on the 43rd kilometer of the Riga Shaolai Highway. Already for 20 years our family enterprise grows vegetables and during these years, thanks to the income from the sale of the vegetables and saved up resources, we have managed to create a roadside cafe, a small restaurant, our own bakery, a children's playground and activity park, and a guest house. We employ 25 people. These years have been filled with hard work, life lessons and success. Being active in our work and involving our three children, we have managed to keep them from leaving the country. We have taught them how to work and be involved in the daily routines of the family business. Part of the Trans Inform project was the development of the logo and motto, Yalgava Local Municipality for a Sustainable Future, reflecting the eternally unchanging values of the hardworking people in Yalgava Local Municipality, where working habits are honored and passed on to future generations. There are strong families and rich traditions in this beautiful and well-kept Zemgala plain. Truly unique people live here. With the help of colors, the municipality's main values are weaved into the logo. Gold, 
represents family, people, and work ethic. Blue, the Lealupe waters and its tributaries. Green, nature and traditional agriculture. A foundation for a sustainable future is established when all of these are combined. A blessed work brings a promise of prosperity.